Now that you've seen how effective JMA can be at reducing inbound call volume, lowering handle times, and increasing customer satisfaction, let's take a closer look at how it all works to enhance your existing mobile application. We'll take a look at the full life cycle, from creating and publishing a self-service interaction, to a customer using it placing a call to your organization, and then we'll look at analytics and script improvements. Let's start with creating self-service interactions. Creating self-service interactions that extend your current mobile experience is actually quite easy, thanks to JMA's business-friendly authoring environment. Just as knowledge and content management systems allow a business to add new articles, JMA allows business authors to create new interactions for self-service, retention, upsell, and technical support. These interactions can be deployed into your existing application at the click of a button, ensuring that changes or new interactions are made available instantly to your consumers. Of course, JMA allows for an approval process and a rollback mechanism, just in case you need to undo something or go to an older version. Publishing and rollbacks don't require a new version of the application on the mobile device. They're automatically retrieved the next time your customer starts the mobile app. Interactions are created here, in the Interaction Designer. The designer's ease of use allows any content expert to create interactions with clicks, not code. However, don't let the simplicity fool you as you can create very advanced interactions here. And IT have the ability to extend the interactions to make them transactional with standards-based coding, if they prefer. The toolbar shows you the available controls you have to build your interactions, questions, statements, choices, decision nodes for business rules, and more. IT can also create drop-in widgets that business users then make available at the right place in the interaction. These widgets allow you to call back-end line-of-business applications using most of the common integrated technologies, yet the interaction author doesn't need to know about the underlying details. So now let's add a new option to show you how easy it really is. In the current tech support flow, we're asking the customer to reset their home cable modem. Now that our IT department has created a remote reset widget, we'll build that into our flow. We can add a screen here to tell the customer we're ready to remotely reset their modem. Then we bring in this component and connect it to the reset modem method and then continue with the regular flow. Interaction authors see easy to use business friendly names such as reset modem. Let's select that method now and click OK to add this to our flow. Let's add this new component to our flow by connecting it from the modem reset screen and then connecting it to the problem resolved question by simply dragging connectors. As quickly as that, we've added integration to an underlying IT system to perform an automated reset. Of course, your developers can use their favorite mobile development platform for even more fine-grained control. We can now test our change. Let's walk through the new self-service interaction. We select Access Problem, which takes us down the Access Problem path. From there, we select Can't Access Websites to go down the modem reset path, as you can see here on the left. And here's the new screen we added, informing the customer that we're about to do an automated reset. When we click the Next button, the Reset Modem method is called, which invokes an underlying system. We can then ask the customer if that resolved the problem. Now that we've published and approved the interaction, it's instantly available to your customers using your organization's mobile application that's been enhanced with the JMA Toolkit. When the customer requests live help, the call is connected to the agent. The agent immediately sees the self-service path followed by the user and all the data entered along the way. The applications on the agent's desktop are automatically opened and staged on the correct screen with the customer's information retrieved at the start of the call, resulting in handling time savings from 30 to 60 seconds per call. Best of all, your customer care group can continue to monitor the effectiveness of the self-service interactions by generating graphical reports that show you problem areas. Those places in the interaction where consumers are either abandoning the session, reaching out to a live agent, or simply taking too long to complete. Because both publishing the interaction and the reports are done in real time, you can continually modify and improve your interactions until you get it just right. It's important to note that JMA provides full audit capabilities ensuring that your organization can stay compliant with regulatory requirements or internal controls. Recognizing that your organization may already have a mobile application, JMA is designed to easily integrate with your existing application through our open SDK. 
The SDK enables your IT department to easily extend and enhance your existing mobile application to take full advantage of the dynamic JMA self-service capabilities and voice channel integration. The API provides full control of all major JMA functionality for fine-grained control by your development group. The SDK is available for both iOS and Android platforms and comes complete with a reference application to quickly master the API. This quick video only scratches the surface of what can be done with JMA. Your application becomes even more powerful when you utilize the built-in capabilities of the device in interactions, such as the camera or GPS. As an example, with the built-in OCR and QR code reader, a customer with a home internet problem can simply scan the modem serial number and all the modem details are available for use in the interaction and appear on the agent screen. Thanks for watching. Contact Yukata today for more information about JMA and the JMA Designer.